What's new, Leon? Checking bikes. Going to QC as usual. How's that going? Check here. The whole line here. Wow, nice. Another 60 or 70 back there. Sweet. If you want to see it? Everything's here. Awesome. Cool. Guess what came in? Boom. Suspension forks, air shipped. Leon's on the floor, he's got some bad news. Gotta go put up some fires. This is kidding me, right? <laughs> There's been some confusion here. They've packed all the attacks here with 13 amp batteries. So now we've got to unpack them and do it again. <laughs> what happened? Got the wrong battery. Oh. The containers here, there's 40 attacks packaged. We're gonna unpackage them, swap the batteries. Get them back in boxes, get them on the road. We're back in business here, repackaging the attacks with the 17 amp batteries. Crisis avoided. Joseph, Airborne, Illinois, Benio, oh, Phoenixville, PA, Aaron, Return, Washington, Seattle, Washington. Paul in California, HCJ Song, Fontana, California. CN Fowler, Auburn, California. Wesley, Stanford, California. Shadi, Ross, California. Kate in Wisconsin. Kyle in Seattle, Washington. David, Awatana, Minnesota. Jeff, Woodinville, Washington. David, Sebastopol, California. Edmund, Durham, North Carolina. Kristen in Austin, Texas. Galib, Olympia, Washington. Calvin, Seattle, Washington. Dennis in San Diego. Walt in St. Simons, Georgia. Paul in Key Largo, Florida. Oleg, Atlanta, Georgia. Steven, Erie, Colorado. Philip, Mountain Brook, Alabama. Amarin, Saratoga Springs, Pennsylvania. Samuel in Brooklyn, New York. More bikes for David in California. Steven, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Josh in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Got a little break while they're packing. We're gonna go check on the next 400 bikes. The frames are at the frame factory right now. They're building them, so we're gonna check the progress. So we're inside the new frame factory right now. We've got a new frame factory. It's a bit closer to the bike factory. That's gonna make it a lot more convenient to make adjustments, send bikes back if we need to, pick them up. So, checking it out here. I did job. So we just met with the super of the frame factory. We've got 400 bikes that they're making right now, 400 frames. And their estimated time completion is the 10th. We're trying to push that up as, as soon as possible. So maybe uh, if they can get it done on time, we can get the first batch, uh, 124 Roadsters, their frames on the 7th, uh, which is before one day holiday on the 8th. Cross your fingers that we can get those frames on the 7th. Just get get right to work and get these bikes out. The great thing about this frame factory is that it's a lot closer than the last frame factory. So if we need any minor adjustments, we need to go check on the frames. Uh, it's a lot easier to go over there and look at it and inspect their work. If we need to exchange any frames because they're scratched or anything, you know, we'll just be able to do that very quickly. The reason being is because now we're back in the bike factory. So it's literally 30 feet away from the bike factory. Frank in Cerrales, Oregon. Justin, Los Altos, California. Derek in Santa Barbara. Jessica, Monterey, Mexico. Eric, Hoboken, New Jersey. Blake, Pacific Palisades, California. Rob. Robert West <laughs> Robert in Western 
Robert in Webster Groves, Missouri. Gary in San Mateo, California. Catherine, Colorado Springs, Colorado. This is a nice container. Look at the floor in here. This is better than my living room. I think I might move in. Container 5 to the US, 86 bikes, mostly attacked, with the 17 amp batteries now. So happy to finally be getting these, so you guys know. Some of you have been waiting for a long, long time, people with attacks, so. So they're going out today. Can't wait for you to get them, and we're gonna keep crushing these bikes, keep getting them out, and let us know when you get them. Anyways, great guys. Great job, guys. Bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. One, two, three. One, two, three, Everlast! <laughs> So I just got the uh, America container out. Now rushing back to the office to run through some of these small country ones, see if we can get any out tomorrow, and then just send as many as possible. So let's do this, Leon. Leon's on the phone with UPS right now. What do you think about UPS? Go, no go. Uh, currently no, no go. Back to the drawing board. F L X D N B I K E. So what goes on after the factory closes? Mostly administrative work. Bikes that go to the wrong place, for example, somebody had moved. They gotta figure out how to get their bike to the other country or reroute it to someone else and get them a new bike. Right now I'm working on some orders and then also tonight for people who ordered new replacement batteries to replace their scratch batteries, working through all those, the list. Make sure that's all cleaned up and send it off to the fulfillment center. No luck with UPS, but I think Leon's just had a breakthrough. Come on. We got four countries ready. Four countries? We got four countries, like from here to a doorstep. They can do it? They can do it. They were just waiting for the pricing. If we agree, we can send them out to maybe this afternoon to their warehouse and shipping it. We don't get much time to work out, so it's all about squeezing a little exercise into those few minute breaks. So you're doing a push up and I'm doing back. <laughs> good. Leon's got a hot lead on a shipper that's gonna take these bikes to Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand. So he's working on that. He's been on the phone with them all morning, all last night. I'm gonna run to the factory, get these bikes ready, getting fit, getting bikes out. It's a beautiful day today for FLX. Last bikes of the week. Leon in Thailand, Matt in Malaysia, Jason in Singapore, finally going out. We just finished at the factory, they're off tomorrow, Sunday. We're headed back to Shanghai for some paperwork and back on Monday. We're headed off to the lab right now, got a bike in the back and we're gonna get a EMC test done. That's something that we need for the certificates for the Australian bikes. Got our fingers crossed that it's just gonna go through with no issues today.